you've got to have a laptop and portability is key these days, which is why this Dynabook Portage is perfect, weighing under a kilo. Click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications of all the videos we do right here on the EFTM YouTube channel. All right, the Dynabook Portage X30W-J. Let's just call it the Dynabook Portage for now. And just think about that name, Portage. That used to be Toshiba, which is, I think, where this product has its biggest challenge in getting consumers to consider it is, what the hell's a Dynabook, right? You've never seen this logo before. What does that mean? Well, Dynabook used to be Toshiba. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Brands, they sell, they change the, they sell the brand name off, they keep the company. The company used to make these laptops, sold the brand, who knows? Who knows? But the heritage of this laptop is the Toshiba laptop range. I remember having a Toshiba satellite like 20 years ago. Um, that was a brand, like to be honest, Toshiba was the biggest brand in laptops in my mind for a very long time. So to carry that Portage name through is critical. Similar to the way I think ThinkPad has carried on from Lenovo, which was actually an IBM thing. So the ThinkPad range was IBM, is now Lenovo, make it work. This Portage isn't a big part of the branding though. Dynabook is what it's all about. And I'll be honest, the Dynabook website in Australia doesn't come across like the big brands does. It actually looks like someone has decided to import, bring these things in and try and sell them because they're such great value. And I think that's the challenge. You've got to get past your lack of information about the brand and just go, heck, it's actually a bloody good laptop. Look at this here. So this is uh, the Dynabook Portage, 13.3 inch screen. Keyboard and touchpad, as you would normally expect. Bit of a strange keyboard layout for some of the keys, like the volume is actually in the function of three and four, as opposed to in the in the function keys themselves. Mm, minimal, you get used to it very quickly. What I love about this, though, is connectivity. Look around here, we've got a micro SD slot, we've got a USB-A and the power button, and then if you swing it all the way around the other, uh, other side, full HDMI, right? Full HDMI, as well as a couple of USB-C or Thunderbolt, um, uh, supported ports, headphone, and uh, Kensington lock style spot. Actually, that's pretty full on, you know, to have a couple of USB-C Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt as well as uh, the USB-A is a big win, I reckon. Plus full size HDMI out when you're presenting and stuff, that's excellent. And I think you need that to justify the $2,099 price tag. Now, what are you getting for that expense? You're getting portability. I mean, this thing is literally Tiny, and by the way, it's a two-in-one, okay? So everything you need to do your Netflix viewing, your stand viewing, if you wanna you know, set up to put it on the coffee table, if you don't have a big screen TV or you're traveling, um, a great way to, uh, to enjoy content. And of course, that means touch screen. So touch screen capabilities, portability, tablet mode, tent mode, Laptop mode, I mean, and here's the thing about this screen which I find fascinating, it's it's a matte finish, you can probably see that, it's just as I put the glare across, it's got a, a very matte finish to it, but it's still completely vibrant, I believe it's like a Corning Gorilla Glass, uh, but I'm not testing the durability of the screen right now, trust me. Um, and I think my only complaint about this laptop, having used it now for a little while, is it is very light, and therefore it's very plasticky, and so you don't get that, I guess, reassuring feel of a MacBook. And you know, for 2000 bucks, you could get a MacBook. Um, but this is an, an Intel 11th uh, generation core processor set. So, you know, that's a big win. It's right up to date. Um, it's, it's running everything you need from Windows. It's got all that kind of connectivity. I find it hard to fault. Um, the only, like in usability, the only fault I've had is the touchpad. It feels like I'm really clicking in on the mouse to get clicks. But I think again, you really get used to the, the touch and feel of the thing. But um, in terms of typing, very nice, lightweight uh, feel to the keyboard. I've got to say, uh, Harman Kardon sound as well. It's beautiful, it's a really good laptop. Um, the webcam is right at the top here, uh, not one of these silly ones that have them hidden down the bottom these days, which is good for visibility on your Zoom calls. Um, and overall, a great look, great look and feel. You're not gonna push this thing to video editing. And this is an absolute workhorse for those people who are out about don't know where they're going to be working next, or literally a lot of people these days, the laptop is all they have at the office. So you have to carry this with you. You take it home to do work, you take it to the cafe, take it to the park, but also when you're at work, it's your laptop because you're plugging into the USB-C Thunderbolt to get the monitors and the keyboards and the mice and all those things synced up and set up at home. Dynabook.
I'd never heard of it either. Don't worry. But I really like what I'm seeing here. So cracking great product uh, at 2099 bucks. Um, well worth your consideration. And if you're watching this as early as March when we release the video, we've got one to give away too. So uh, giving it away on the 7th or 8th of March. So haven't got long. Uh, go to EFTM.com. Scroll down, look for the article about the Dynabook giveaway, and uh, you can enter and be in the draw. Free laptop for someone. But outside of that, beautiful laptop. Um, very, very highly recommended. If you're into a Windows laptop and you're looking for something that's a little different, and portability is key, because that's its number one selling point is portability, you're on a winner. Don't forget, touchscreen and a proper, do your best, everything laptop. Check it out.